In this new video tutorial I want to show you how to make this simple but comfortable and beautiful sweater that I decided to call Encanto. To make it I used two yarns, Ambiance by Yan Art. Look here the number is 163 in El Dorado by Mistrato. I finished the sleeves, the collar and the bottom of the sweater with El Dorado. For the rest I worked exclusively with Ambiance yarn and I find this color combination very beautiful. But I want to show you other color combinations that you can use and that I think are fantastic. Let's go with colors that are always a bit more bright. Look here at number 150 by Ambiance with the red of El Dorado. Or if you want to break away you can use 166, also by Ambiance, and the green of El Dorado. Look at these fantastic contrasts, I love them. If you want to go with a darker tone and you like darker colors, I recommend 159 which is a shade of gray, black, and gray dorado. But you could also use black or gray dorado. Let's talk about the quantity. So, I've always worked exclusively with a size 4 crochet hook and I've used 4 balls of ambience and just 1 ball of El Dorado. Now for the size M sweater, I recommend 5 balls of ambience and just 1 ball of El Dorado. While for a size L, I always recommend 5 balls or at most 6 balls if you want to make it longer, longer and a little wider, always of ambience and 2 balls of El Dorado. The work is very simple, it's a round that must always be repeated and that creates these rather particular waves thanks to the yarn. So we have these vertical stripes but these horizontal waves are given precisely by the type of yarn we've used. Again, the process is simple because it is a round that must always be repeated and I also repeated it to be able to make the hands and sleeves. Having said that, I hope you like this creation too, that you want to make it and, if so, as always, then I recommend that you send me your photos either on my Facebook page Crocheting with Elsa or on the Facebook group Freedom to Crochet and Knit, or you can tag me on Instagram where you will find me as Elsa Fascio and, as always, we will see you in the next video tutorial. To make our sweater RPUL, I decided to use two yarns which are ambiance, this shaded one and El Dorado. However, we will only need El Dorado to finish the sleeves, the neck and the bottom part of the sweater, so we will not use a lot of it. I think one for size SM and two for size LXL will be enough, while we will need more and then of course at the beginning of the video you will already know how much of the yarn I used to be able to make the actual sweater. I decided to use these two color combinations, 163 with gold, code 2, which are really nice together, but as you can see here I made other color combinations. Here we have 159 with black, 166 with green or 150 with red. I find this combination very Christmassy, I have to say. Instead, let's go with the classic one I chose. Okay, having said that, here I'll show you a small sample of the work. We always start from the bottom. I'll tell you that working with the crochet hook and the four and me I went to cast on 156 chains. The work we're going to do is obtained in multiples of 12, so I recommend. Size MLXL, don't increase by too many chains, I would say. If you want it loose, three motifs for a size M A size L six motifs. But if you want it to be tight, decrease by one motif, but I recommend you stick to this size. Three more patterns in size M, if the extra patterns are in size L, so nine more patterns for a size XL. In your case, however, I recommend that you always measure either your bust or your hips, depending on which is bigger, and make as many chains as you can until you reach that size. Of course, if you want it to be softer, increase the number by keeping in mind the multiple of 12 chains. Having said that, we can go and make our round. It's just one round that will always be repeated, so it's really easy. You know that when we have shaded yarns, I prefer to make a simple stitch to highlight the yarn, and we're going to make three chains that are the first double crochet. I'm going into the next chain, sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, yes. I'm going in and I'm going to make another double crochet. Next chain, I'm going to make another double crochet. I'm going to skip three chains and inside the fourth chain I'm going to make three double crochets.
So a 2-3 chain is a separator, I skip a base chain, I go into the next one and again I go to make 3 double crochets. One, two, three. I skip three chains and start over. So I go into the fourth one and I go to make three double crochets, one in each chain. So one, two, and three. I skip three chains. I go into the fourth one and I go to make three double crochets directly. One, I go back in, two, I go back in, three. A chain is a separator. And I skip a chain and again three double crochets in the same base chain. One, two, and three. I skip three chains and start over. So I go into the fourth one and again I go to make three double crochets, one in each double crochet. One, two, three. I skip three chains. I go into the fourth one and I go to make three double crochets. A two, three chain is a separator. I skip a chain, three double crochets. One, two, three. I skip three chains and start over. So I'm going to make three double crochets. One chain next, two chains next, three. I'm going to skip three chains, go into the fourth and make my three double crochets. One, two, three. Separating chain, I'm going to skip one chain and make my last three double crochets. One, two, and three. So this is what we need to do. Exactly. We need to make the last three chains for our entire first round. Let's close the first round by going into the third chain and making a single crochet. At this point we're going to make our round that we're going to repeat and I'll show you how to do it. Let's make three chains that are this first double crochet. One double crochet over each of the next two double crochets. One and two to always have the three double crochets. I'm going to go directly to where I have the last of my three double crochets and I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three chain separator. I go to where I have the first of the three double crochets. I go to make three double crochets. One, two, oops. Two and three, and we start over. So I go to the first of my three double crochets and I go to make three stitches, my three double crochets, one over each double crochet. One, two, three. Three double crochets over the last of our three double crochets in the next group. So a two, three chain separator. I go to the first of the three double crochets and I go to make three double crochets. Double crochets. One, two, three, and we start over. Double crochet over each of the three double crochets. One, two, three. Three double crochets over the third of my next three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain separator. Three double crochets over the first of the three double crochets. One, two, and three. And you have to do this for the entire round. Let's repeat three times together. So always three double crochets. One over each of the three double crochets. One, two, three. I'm going directly over. The last of my three double crochets, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Separating chain. 
Let's go into the first of the three double crochets. Let's make three double crochets. One, two and three. I'm going to go where I have the third chain and close the round and start over. So this is our work, it's the round that we're always going to repeat. Of course, I'll let you know how many times I've repeated the round. Don't do it too many, since, as I said, we're going to use the yarn and the gold thread to finish underneath. I don't know yet if I'll do three rounds or two, so don't make it too long, otherwise it'll be too long to make the edge. Well, if you usually do 20 to 25 rounds, I don't know, make one less so that you can then make the edge. Okay. So I got to placing my stitch markers. I repeated the round 29 times, so from the bottom to where I placed the stitch markers, I repeated, as I said, my round 29 times. At this point, to place the stitch markers, I went to count my little waves. You see? These little waves have formed and I have a total of 13 and I have placed 6 in the back, 7 in the front. Always remember that the extra motif must always be placed in the front, so in my case, having 13, 6 in the back, seven in the front and i placed the stitch marker in the strip of three double crochets in the second double crochet on both this side and that other side here i placed it a little lower because i have to start the round anyway so i recommend the larger sizes if you are a size m and you have placed three more motifs than me in that case you have to place an even number so divide them by two size l instead you should have a pattern in an extra pattern too so an odd number so always put the extra pattern on the front. So, when you get to this point, we're always going to work the same stitch, but the beginning and end of the round will be slightly different because we'll end and start with two double crochets as I told you. In fact I put the stitch marker in the second of my group of three double crochets with a single crochet so as not to break the yarn. I went to where I have the second double crochet and then I immediately work three chains which are my first double crochet. I go to the next double crochet and I go to make a double crochet and then I go back to working as I have always worked. So I go into the third double crochet and I go to make three double crochets. One, two and three. Separating chain and I go to the first of the three double crochets to work our three double crochets. So I continue to work this round that we always do until we get to the end, as I told you where I'll show you how to end the round and how to start it again. So I'm finishing the round. As you can see, I've reached the stitch marker. So I'm going to make a double crochet over the first one, a double crochet over the second double crochet, and then I'll turn around and work as usual. Only now, we'll start with the three chains that are the first double crochet. We'll go to the next double crochet and make another double crochet and then we'll continue working normally. Of course, we'll finish with two double crochets, one over each double crochet. When we go to make the back piece, remember to always start where we put the stitch marker, so where we have the double crochet here, we'll make another double crochet and the double crochet to start the back piece with two double crochets, and of course we'll finish with a double crochet over the last double crochet and a double crochet where we started the front piece, so we can finish with two double crochets. So now I'll continue working. Of course I'll let you know how many rounds I did to get to shoulder height and how long I sewed the two pieces together. So the back part to the front part and then we'll make the sleeves. So, I repeated the round 11 times both forwards and backwards and to sew I sewed about 13 centimeters both right and left. This time I didn't want the neck to be too wide, so it's fine. My head can fit through, but please, if you want it wider, sew less, sew sew on the 10 centimeters. Now we can start working on the sleeve. Please, size M and size L if I did 11 rounds, I would say size M went through at least 13 rounds while for a size L 16 rounds. So, I've already started making a sleeve because I wanted to see how many patterns I could use and I have fans, because now I have this little archer fan, this wave, let's call it waves, I have 5 waves. So, you see, I have 5, but I still have to finish the sleeve. And now I'll show you how I made it. 
I'll always work with a size 4 hook and I'll grab my yarn and where I made the back and front parts underneath, I'll hook it with the yarn. If you remember, we used to work 3 double crochets in the body of the stitch. This time I'll start with just 2 and then I'll finish with 1 so that the beginning and end of the round are in the center of the strip of 3 double crochets. So I hook it and make 3 chains, which are my first double crochet. Then I'll remove the yarn. I go in where I have the horizontal double crochet and make another double crochet. I skip the horizontal double crochet, I go into the small loop, in this one and I make my 3 double crochets. 1, 2, 3. Separating chain, I go back into the horizontal double crochet and make 3 double crochets. 1, 2 and 3. I skip the horizontal double crochet, I go into the small hole and make a double crochet. A double crochet in the horizontal double crochet, a double crochet in the small hole. Double crochet, I go for a double crochet, I also skip the hole, I go directly to where I have the horizontal double crochet and again I go to make the group of 3 double crochets. And so I continue like this, trying to manage the various stitches to be able to close the work. Remember, I made 5 of these little waves in total and let's consider that for a size M I think you need 6, while for a size L7. Manage it a bit yourself, but do the first round, try to see if it's tight. Make one more wave. If you see that it's fine, but it's slightly tight, just change one hook, go and work with the one from number 5. Now I'm finishing the round, I'll show you how to finish and how to start with the second one. So I'm about to finish the round, I go into the horizontal double crochet, I make the third, my double crochet which would be the third of the initial group. So I go into the third initial chain and I go to make a very small crochet, and now I'm going to work the round as I always have. So I'm always going to make three chains, double crochet over double crochet, I'm going directly into the third of my three double crochets and I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three separating chain i'm going to go where i have the first of my three double crochets i'm going to make three double crochets one two and three and then i'm going to continue working double crochet over each double crochet of the group of the next three so one two and three so i'm going to continue working the round i'll let you know at the end how many rounds i've done to make the sleeve so, I've finished making the sleeves too. In total I've made 35 rounds and then with the Eldorado yarn that I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial I went to make the last two rounds of the sleeves, you see? Both here and there, always working the same stitch. So 30 rounds with the ambiance, the last two rounds with the gold. I also made a finishing round around the neck, always using the same pattern, always with gold, and I made a round always working with a four and a half center. Below, instead, I made two simple rounds of double crochets, so I didn't make the same pattern, but two rounds always with the yarn and gold, so this creation is also finished. Please remember, when you go to make the two rounds of double crochets and go to make the first round in the arch of three chains, only make two double crochets, otherwise the work will widen too much. Or instead of working with four and a half, go to work with the four hook. I have always worked with four and a half and so I preferred to go to make two double crochets where I have the arch of three instead of three double crochets. So this shirt, as I told you, is also finished. <laughs>